You're on the rant couch where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Captain Wiggle Muncher who says, Rant about the song Drone by Mariko Goto. Since you profess your love of dense music, wear headphones. I don't do headphones. But uh, this song was great. Um, I know I'm going to appear as the biggest contrarian on planet fucking Earth for like loving this absolutely cacophonous um, mindgasm of a track after uh, shitting all over Porter Robinson, but uh, what can I tell you? I thought it was great. It has just just enough of like a driving rhythm and the vocal melodies with just the sweet pop vocals um, over just the absolute discordant fucking chaos of glistening guitars and horns and shit going on in the background and keys that, uh, yeah, I don't know, it worked for me. I mean, it, it kind of gave me, like, the vibe of, like, stuff on Heartbreak Wonderland by, uh, Dead, what is it, no, yeah, World's End Girlfriend, Heartbreak Wonderland, that album, like, that level of verdantness, but, like, less coordinated, just, like, kind of chaotic and hanging in the background, um, I would definitely listen to a whole album of stuff that sounds like this. Uh, I will have to check out this album. D researching this blew my mind, because Mariko Goto, I, you know, have never really looked into uh, the band Midori, but she is the, she was the front woman, uh, vocalist and guitarist, I think, right? Um, uh, something like that. She, she was part of Midori, previously part of a band called uh, Usagi, who I don't even know what they sound like. Um, she also sang on one of the Flowers of Evil OPs, which I don't think I've heard, but um, I'll have to check it out. I need to watch Flowers of Evil, but yeah, I had no idea she had a solo career um, post Midori. You know, this album came out in 2012. She's had one as recent as 2014, so uh, and a demo in 2018. She also has like a, a, a small acting career. I had no idea there was so much going on with the, the Midori singer, but yeah. Um, like, knowing that this song is from someone from Midori makes perfect sense. Like, Midori's sound was already chaotic and cacophonous. Um, it's described on Wikipedia as jazz punk. Makes sense to me. Um, but yeah, like, it's funny to hear her, like, on the, uh, you know, the famous Midori album that I've, uh, that I did a rant about last month, you know, there are parts where she's singing in, like, a soft, girly voice, but, like, a lot of it is fucking throat-rending screams, so it's funny to hear something that's so kind of angelic sounding, like, even though that chaos element is there, that experimental weirdness, it's by no means, like, rough in sound, you know, it's a, it's a pretty and pristine track, it's just that there's so much fucking shit happening that, uh, it would definitely be overwhelming to most listeners, I think. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it also, you know, another comparison I could make is to uh, Shinsei Kamate-chan, when they really have, like, they just start layering, like, eight different keyboards on top of each other and shit in some of their songs. Um, gave me that kind of vibe as well. Um, interesting that those are all Japanese artists. I don't know if that's just a, a thing that's more popular in Japan, but I, I dig it. I like the ridiculous amount of spiraling melodies playing over each other. Yeah, uh, we'll definitely look into more. Thank you for recommending me this song. I think I, I felt more immediate connection to this than I even did listening to Midori. You know, um, I do like Midori, but uh, I've never had that easy of a time listening to that album all the way through. It's just like a little, it's like a little too intense to be like a mood that I find myself in, really, you know? Um, this album is much more of a mood I find myself in, or the song at least, so... Yeah, I'll definitely be listening to it more in the future. 